Now, after you do your test render, make sure you don't forget to go back up to render settings and change your start frame and end frame. Okay, if you want to pick up from frame 11, if it worked out fine, that's fine. Otherwise, um, just keep it at frame one. Okay, and make sure end frame, you type in the last frame. You can see it down here, right? So I have 200 frames in my animation. And then you're going to just close that and then again, go back to render and batch render, okay? And it'll render out all of your frames, okay? Once we do that, we gotta bring it into Premiere. So open up Premiere. It's a purple box with the letters P and R in it. So mine is in the process of loading right now. <clears throat> it is another big program, so it might take a little bit to um, boot up. still waiting still waiting there it goes so looks like this little box here all right if you hit your f4 key and look for your programs And just have to be patient. There we start to go. I could minimize Maya. And wait for Premiere to pop up. And here it's starting to load. Still slow, slow, slow. Okay, and just here we go, just hit new project. Okay, and you can call it whatever you want, fuse animation, whatever you want. And here you can see it's gonna be in my documents. I'm gonna change this to wherever I want it to go. Desktop, fuse character. So there, it's gonna be my fuse character, so and hit okay don't need to change any of the others okay there it is let me resize this here so you can see all of it get it in my screen for you Almost there. There. And you should be able to see all of it now. Okay. So this is really simple. Um, you're just going to go up into where it says. Premiere Pro up at the top, it's off the screen here, but you're just gonna go File, right, and down into Import, Command-I is a shortcut, okay? And once that's there, you're gonna go and find where you put your uh, JPEGs. So you're going to, I'm in Desktop, Fuse Character, Images, there they are, one through 200. Here's the easy part, just find number one, Okay, make sure you hit options down here and you want this tagged. So by default, I don't believe it is tagged. Make sure it image sequence and just hit import and it will import one through 200. And here you can see there is my animation. Okay, over here in my media browser and I'm just going to click and drag over. Okay. And there it is, and I can see my preview here. And if I hit the space bar, 
or you can hit play, etc. But spacebar, and there's my animation. Okay, little shadow. Again, can deal with that later. Um, if you want to add sound, all you have to do is import the sound into your media browser over here, and here you can see audio channel one, um, and you can just drag it over here to one. Okay, and then um, trim it up, whichever you want. Uh, here's the shortcuts for trimming. So whatever to the left I want, I can hit Q and it deletes everything to the left of my blue playhead. Okay, if I hit W, so if I just move this down and hit W, it deletes everything to the right of my playhead. So uh, editing shortcuts Q and W to trim. Okay, some very basic. So you can trim your music. Once you have your music in, once you have your animation in, right, let's check it, it's the whole thing. Cool, it's looking pretty good. Just how I want it. Okay, now we're gonna go up top again to File, and we're gonna go to Export Media, okay? And this is how we'll just turn it into a QuickTime movie format, make it QuickTime, okay? Leave it at um, widescreen. I'm going to rename by clicking my output name, and we'll just call it Fuse Animation, right? And it's going to be an MOV. I want it in my Fuse Character folder. Cool. Save. So here it will. Make sure export video and audio is clicked. Okay, it's going to be a 720 by 480 at 30 frames per second. Da 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 da. And all you have to do is just hit export. Okay, and there it is. I'm going to open up Finder and not in images. So let's go desktop, fuse character. Uh, let's see, where is it? Fuse animation.mov. Double click it. Double click. There it is. Let's move it over. And there's my animation. And you can share that. And that's actually what you're going to upload and turn in is this whole animation sequence in a .mov format. And that's as easy as it gets for creating a 3D animation.